advances, so do many medical procedures, including those for your teeth. So I am here today with orthodontist Dr. Ron Cohen, who's going to tell us about some new and exciting things that are going on in his office in particular that are really helping you make the process more seamless. Um, today we're going to talk about cone beam CT diagnostics. It's a mouthful, yes, no pun is. intended. <laughs> but um, tell me what the cone beam CT is. Um, cone beam CT, or computed tomography, um, is kind of an offshoot of medical CTs. Okay. Uh, medical CT uses a fan shape beam, uh, and because of that, the radiation exposure is pretty high. Uh -huh. um, actually, 300 times higher than the exposures that we get. Yikes. It's a little bit more um, exacting than what we have, but mm -hmm. for what we're doing orthodontically and being able to, to scan things, it really is, is, is accurate enough for us. Mm -hmm. And it's called cone beam because when the, when the beam comes out of the tube head to go to where it's received, it comes out in a cone. Okay. Um, so it, it makes its one pass and goes all the way through and it exposes everything. But it's actually a pulse thing. So you really, for, a, for like say a seven second exposure, you only, only get two and a half seconds worth of actual exposure because it oh, pulses as, okay. as it goes around. And then the computer takes all these little individual pictures and puts them together into a 3D volume that we can then look at. Um, the 3D volume looks you know, just like a skull, mm -hmm. and, you know, and as you can see on the screen, it allows us to rotate everything around, mm -hmm. uh, look at from the top, look from the bottom. Uh, we can cut things off and, uh, again, just be able to look at places that we never could see before. Mm -hmm. um, it then allows us to go through and, uh, and get pictures in all three planes of space so that you can look at not only the teeth, but you can look at the roots of the teeth, you can look at the sinuses, you can look at the tonsils. Um, you can see things that really never could see before. I've caught on some of my adults um, carotid artery stenosis and, and adults wow. that didn't know they had carotid artery problems. Uh -huh. um, there are a number of things that you can find um, that before with our two-dimensional pictures you just really never had the opportunity to see. You were telling me that um, you've been using the cone beam CT for about three years now and you can't imagine how you practiced without it. Yes, I've, I've, uh, um, it really is amazing that when you start using technology mm -hmm. and then you compare it to what you were doing before, you know, it's like horse and buggy versus car. Right. Um, and uh, there, computed technology is something that's, that's going to be more and more accepted. Um, you know, there are those who want to say that it's too much exposure, but out of the exposure that I get, which is equal to three days of background radiation that you just normally get anyway, mm -hmm. so it's very little exposure, mm -hmm. um, and I can see so many different things. I can see the jaw joints, I can see their position, I can get corrected, what we call tomograms, which put it in exactly the right position so I know where the jaw joint sits. Um, again, things that, that we never got before, so yes, we had an idea what the head looked like from the side and what the panorex looked like from being spread out. Uh -huh. We had no idea three-dimensionally how that all tied together. It was all a guess. Right. And, um, you know, I, I, the things that I've been through, the things that I've seen, uh, it's really helped me predict where treatment was going to go a lot better because I knew everything that I was working with. Right. You were saying even, um, you know, there was a time where you would have been working um, on a tooth with a certain type of root that didn't want to move, and you didn't know that it was like that until this process allowed right. you to see it. Right. And, and, and the fact that this integrates with, with Sure Smile, that um, it allows me to then see uh, in three dimensions what the teeth actually look like and what the roots actually look like. And mm -hmm. sometimes looking at something two-dimensionally, if the root is shaped differently so that as you go two-dimensionally you can't see it, mm -hmm. then you don't really know and you spend a lot of time trying to make something move or trying to do something that never works. Right. Uh, case in point is maybe someone who has an impacted uh, canine um, and I've had a couple that you know after a while they wouldn't move and then I have my CT and you look at it and it's got a little hook in the root that you could never see before. Um, so it, it, it really allows us to be a bit more predictable in what we're doing um, and you know do, do you absolutely have to have it to do orthodontic treatment? Um, well, we've been doing orthodontic treatment for years without it right. um, but I think that if, if you want to know everything you're working with I think you do need to have that. I would agree. <laughs> I'm fascinated just seeing these pictures and it does make me wonder how, I mean, albeit educated guesses, it still is kind of amazing that there's still so much guesswork um, and now things like this exist. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm sold. <laughs> it makes me wish I hadn't had my braces already. 
Um, if you are interested in uh, any orthodontic work, um, especially work that is so accurate, um, it's kind, it kind of amazes me. Uh, be sure you give Dr. Cohen a call. He and his team will get you all set up so that you can go home with a beautiful smile.